All right, time now for some stock therapy. Pfizer is stepping up its fight against generic drugs. The drug giant is spending big in several states as its best-selling drug Lipitor is set to lose patent protection this year. Bloomberg government health care policy analyst Christopher Flavel, excuse me, is in Washington for our stock therapy today. And Chris, I mean, what is at stake for, for Pfizer? And tell us what exactly Pfizer is doing here. So Pfizer knows that state Medicaid agencies are trying to save money given their financial straits. One of the ways Medicaid wants to save money is by moving more drug prescriptions away from brand names to generics. Now, Pfizer is the biggest company in the world for drug makers. That means that any money that comes away from brand names is going to hurt Pfizer. Now, these bills are interesting because they're sort of a Trojan horse. The idea on the surface is that these bills will make it easier for doctors to file prescriptions electronically. But tucked into these bills is a provision that Pfizer wants to push, and that provision would tie the hands of Medicaid or other payers to try to direct doctors away from brand name drugs and toward generics. How does it tie their hands, Chris? Well, if you're a doctor and using this prescription software, the idea is you enter the drug you want to prescribe for your patient. A pop-up window, some sort of a prompt will come up saying, did you know there's a cheaper version of the drug you want to prescribe? Should you try that drug? Now, Pfizer's bill would stop that software from being used. So if a doctor wasn't aware of the cheaper version, he or she would be likely not to prescribe it in the first place. You know, Christopher, I think about states and they're, you know, facing a lot of budget gaps. They're trying to close deficits and so on and so forth. I mean, what do these bills specifically mean for the states who are kind of dealing with that issue? So the magic number here is $682 million. That's what the Generic Drug Association estimates states and the federal government would save through Medicaid by increasing just by one percentage point the number of drugs that are prescribed are generics. Right now, Medicaid has a lower generic prescription rate than the country as a whole. States are trying to close that gap. Now, if they close that gap, that's money the states can save and money that Pfizer and other companies aren't getting. I guess the bottom line is, Christopher, then, I mean, do folks expect these bills to uh, pass when all is said and done? It's a great question. We found at least eight states where these Pfizer-backed bills are being moved through the legislatures. Now, in half of those states, these bills either were killed or died in committee. The other four states, it's too soon to say. But the significance here isn't just the states where these bills are already being considered. The idea is if Pfizer can get these bills through and if these bills do pass, then potentially that could build momentum for similar rules in other areas of the country. All right. Obviously, something to be watched very closely. Uh, Christopher Flavel, thank you so much. We appreciate it. He's Bloomberg Government uh, Health Care Policy Analyst joining us from Washington.